Welcome to the overview of 5900 South Pleasant Valley Road. This video provides information about Austin Housing Finance Corporation's plans to create affordable housing on this property. Thank you for watching and for joining us as we kick off this public input process. We invite you to share your ideas, questions, and suggestions for the preliminary development priorities and concepts presented in this video. Your input will ultimately help shape what gets built on this site. Thank you again for your participation and perspectives. A Spanish version of this video is also available on the project website. This video will provide an overview of the House Austin Housing Finance Corporation, affordable housing in Austin, an overview of the project, including project area and timeline, preliminary development priorities and concepts, the community input process, and next steps. The Austin Housing Finance Corporation, or AHFC, as we will refer to it throughout this video, is a quasi-public nonprofit organization created by Austin City Council in 1979 to generate and implement strategic housing solutions for the benefit of low and moderate income residents of the city. We use a variety of tools to do so, including purchasing existing housing, buying land, working with community members to envision new developments, and partnering with developers to build new housing. One such example is 900 Gardner Road. AHFC initiated a similar public input process in 2020 for this site and worked with community to craft a request for proposals that reflected a community-based development concept. The RFP was awarded to Vecino Group and the Guadalupe Neighborhood Development Corporation. Together, they will help AHFC build 228 homes, 198 of which will be for rent and 30 will be for sale. All of the units will be affordable. Libertad at Gardner and Johnny Limon Village are scheduled to break ground in 2023. Another example is 3515 Manor Road. AHFC initiated the public input process in 2021 and solicited requests for proposals last year. AHFC is working with Integral Care, the NHP Foundation, and Capital A Housing to build approximately 260 units of deeply affordable permanent supportive housing units. The, the development called Seabrook Square is scheduled to break ground in 2023. A third RFP generated development is Live Make Apartments located at 1127 Tillery Street. Community engagement efforts began in 2020, and the project was awarded to MR Recapital and Citrine Development. The development will include 66 units of affordable senior housing for artists with disabilities and commercial art space. AHFC has other partnership developments in the pipeline, helping to expand the stock of affordable housing in Austin. So what is affordable housing? The term affordable housing is commonly used in our community, but often has different meanings to different people. When used by AHFC, it refers to housing that is both income restricted, in which housing is only available to households who earn less than a certain percentage of Austin's median family income, or MFI, and rent or sale restricted in which units must be leased or sold to eligible, eligible households at a price affordable to those households. Affordable housing provides numerous benefits to the community, as we are sure you're aware of. Some of these benefits include helping longstanding residents remain in the city, supporting economic, racial, and ethnic diversity, allowing low-income households to spend less on housing and more on other vital goods and services, and providing housing in proximity to services and employment. Affordable housing is greatly needed within the city. 
the city's strategic housing blueprint encompassed over 30 public input events over 18 months and was adopted by city council in 2017. The blueprint identified a need for 60,000 additional housing units in Austin within the next 10 years that are available to households earning at or below 80% of median family income. Almost 4,500 of these units are needed in Council District 2. Based on the 2021 scorecard, which assesses how well the city is meeting the blueprint's goals, only 1,063 new affordable housing units have been built in District 2 since 2017, suggesting the district needs far more affordable housing to meet the blueprint's goals by 2027. Since the Austin Strategic Housing Blueprint was adopted in 2017, the need for affordable housing continued to grow. For many Austinites, housing prices are increasing faster than incomes. This is particularly true in the 78744 zip code where 5900 Pleasant Valley is located. Data from Redfin shows that median sales prices reached almost $500,000 this past summer but household incomes are not keeping pace. Similarly, the 2021 scorecard for District 2 found that many of the residents of the district residents are housing cost burdened with one in four homeowners and almost half of renters spending more than 30% of their income on housing costs. These dynamics have real impacts for residents, some of whom may no longer be able to afford to stay with the neighborhood without income and rent restricted affordable housing. With 5900 South Pleasant Valley, AHFC aims to help advance affordable housing goals in District 2. This property consists of two sites located at the intersection of Pleasant Valley Road and Village Square Drive across the street from Mendez Middle School. To the east of the sites are the Southeast Branch Public Library, Wyden Elementary, and Dove Springs Recreation Center. A stop on Project Connect's Purple Line is planned to be nearby. Many grocery stores, pharmacies, healthcare facilities, and parks are within a short bus ride, including Fiesta Mart, HEB, Walgreens, a community care clinic, and Dove Springs District Park. We are kicking off this project with a community input period through early 2023. We will use your feedback to refine the development concept featured in the request for qualifications or RFQ for a development team. We hope to release the RFQ in early spring. Once the solicitation period has closed, we will work with staff in the community to evaluate the submissions before the final selection goes to the AHFC board for approval. Once the development team is approved, AHFC staff will facilitate partnership negoci negotiations and financing applications in late fall 2023 through spring of 2024. We anticipate the development will begin construction in the summer of 2024 and will be completed by 2025 or 2026. Again, your ideas and feedback from this initial community input period will help shape the development concept for what is built on the site. This concept will be included in the RFQ that will determine who helps AHFC bring this concept to fruition. We invite you to share your feedback on these initial proposals via a survey, which is available on the project website, and tabling and presentation events, the schedules for which will be available online as well. Proposed development priorities include serving families by providing two to four bedroom units, serving low to moderate incomes by targeting up to 80% median family income households, $88,250 or less for household of four, serving households with genera generational ties to Austin, providing affordable homeownership opportunities, where households spend no more than 30% of their income on their mortgage, 
and providing affordable rental opportunities where households spend no more than 30% of their income on rent. The following conceptual drawings show what it might look like to bring these priorities to life. This first drawing shows what the two lots could look like when facing south on Village Square Drive as though one were looking across from Mendez Middle School. The preliminary development concepts include new affordable ownership units on the eastern side near Knuckles Crossing Road and new affordable rental housing on the western side near Pleasant Valley. Both buildings are envisioned as being fewer stories near the existing condominiums. Here's what the concept would look like from an aerial perspective with the ownership lot at the top of the image. Both lots run alongside the creek. The preliminary concepts envision creating over two and a half acres of community green space within the creek buffers so that about 60% of the lots could be open space. The affordable rental housing lot is adjacent to existing CAP Metro bus stops and also the planned Metro Rapid stop. For more information about CAP Metro's current and future routes, visit projectconnect.com. The conceptual design for the Eastern lot includes approximately 46 ownership units and a variety of housing structures. On the side closest to the existing condos are attached walk-up homes with two stories and two to three bedrooms. Along Knuckles Crossing is a three to four story building with stacked condo units that feature one to four bedroom units. Altogether, there are 102 bedrooms within the ownership units. The stacked flats shown on the left part of this image ensure that over half of the ownership units do not have stairs and are fully accessible. The area between the buildings and creek is envisioned as community green space that could feature a playground or other amenity. Finally, this concept accommodates around 60 parking spaces and serves households earning up to 80% MFI. The conceptual design for the Western lot includes approximately 96 rental units in a multi-level apartment building. The building concept includes one story of parking and then two to four stories of apartments above, resulting in five stories on Pleasant Valley and three by the existing homes. This concept features a mix of one, two, and three bedroom units, ensuring access for a mix of households. The building concept includes resident amenities, such as an interior courtyard, as well as community green space. Finally, this concept accommodates 120 parking spaces and serves households earning 30 to 60% MFI. Thank you again for watching this video and learning more about the 5900 South Pleasant Valley Road project. We want to hear from you during this initial community input process. What are your thoughts on the proposed development priorities and concept for this project? What other amenities and uses would you like to see on these lots? Let us know by taking the survey, which can be accessed at publicinput.com backslash 5900 South Pleasant Valley, or by using the QR code on the screen. The survey closes in February, so please help us spread the word. We will review the responses and adjust the development concept accordingly. You can also provide input and get involved in this process by visiting the project website to learn more at publicinput.com backslash 5900 South Pleasant Valley, joining us at one of our tabling events and emailing us at housingdevelopment at austintexas.gov. Thank you very much, and we look forward to hearing from you.